crafty goblins and ghouls. I hope you're having a bootastic day today. Welcome back to day 11 of the 13 days of Halloween craft series hosted by Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, Elizabeth Garza from Live, Craft, and Love, and yours truly, Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Thank you so much for joining me over these past few days. I've really tried to stretch myself and do new projects and hopefully inspire you with some fun ideas. For today's project, I created this 5x7 Graphic 45 book box and tag mini album. The paper collection that I used is an eerie tale. I used the 6x6 patterns and solids and I used the 8x8 paper stack and I used almost this entire stack to make this project. On the front cover here, we have this large wooden frame, which I painted in black, and then I went over it with fine glitter paint. I did use some chipboard elements from the paper collection, and I embellished it with these floral sprays in orange, cream, and black. I did use my Bodabra to make this really fun bow. There are three different bows here. There's this orange mesh, Here's an orange gingham and then this lace. And then I finished it off with this amber spider. And as I mentioned before, it measures five by seven. This is a spine. And this is the back. On the inside, we have this large panel here, which you can use for a photo. And then inside we have this box with all of our tags. I'm going to review each of these tags in full detail. I'm going to go grab my materials and then we will start making this project together. I'll be right back. I have gathered all of the materials we will need to make this tag book box. I am using this 8x8 paper by Graphic 45. It's called an Eerie Tale. I am using this Graphic 45 book box. This is what the packaging looks like. And this comes with three regular black tags and a binder ring. So this is the box. And these are the tags inside. And I have also cut out all of the paper that we will need for this project. To start, we are going to cover the front, back, and the spine of this book. And I have the pieces already cut out. This is going to be the front, and this measures 7 by 5. You'll need two 7 by 5 pieces for the front and the back. And then I have a piece that is 2 and a half by 7 inches for the spine. So I'm going to glue that down now. Use my bone folder to make sure there's a good, strong adhesion all around the box. Next we're going to glue on the spine and if you have directional paper you want to make sure that you <laughs> have it facing in the right direction. And then we're going to glue on the back. So our book is now fully covered. Let's work on the inside. I've cut out these pieces to go on the inside. This first piece measures six and five eighths by four and five eighths. This next piece measures six and five eighths by two and one quarter. Next, we'll need to cover the inside and the outside of the box. And I've cut two pieces, which measure six and five eighths by two and one quarter. So we'll glue that down now. Okay, now we will glue down this other side. Now we're going to glue down the top part and the bottom. And for this, I decided to do something a bit whimsical and I cut out this uh, spiderweb paper. This is part of the collection because behind every fairy tale there is a dark tale and I thought it also complemented this paper very well. 
You want to make sure your edges line up just so. And these two pieces measure four and five eighths by two and a quarter. I did have to trim it just a smidge. For the inside of the box, you will need a piece that measures six and three eighths by four and three eighths. Again, you may need to trim this just slightly so that it fits perfectly in the base. This is going to fit nice and snug inside. And you want to make sure you use your bone folder to really get in the edges. Now we have the two spines, which measure six and a half by two and one eighth. And these are going to go right on the side, just like this. And then we'll glue the other side on. Now we're going to glue the top and bottom inside pieces. These pieces measure four and three eighths by two and one eighth. And we'll glue this second piece down. And so now our book box is completely covered the front and the back and the inside now let's start decorating the tags I've cut out a variety of pieces for the fronts and backs of our tags and I'm just going to start gluing them down to make the mat for this tag I use my graphic 45 tag die And this fits perfectly on the tag. I love these tag dies. I'm going to glue this on the back. Before I finish covering the tags, I want to show you some of the pieces that I will be using to decorate. I have these chipboard pieces, these flowers, the tags and pockets, more chipboard pieces, I have the alpha stickers, and then finally I have a large 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I'm making a mini tag album and so I want to make sure that there are lots of areas to include photos. This is the first tag that I've completed and we still need to embellish it a bit more. We've covered the tag in designer paper. We have a little booklet on the front in black. And then we have a pocket and tag on the front. And this says, Our Scary Tale. This little booklet opens up and it's magnetized. And we've got this fun spider web paper inside. And this little chipboard element that says, Beware. On the back, I've just matted the tag and I've included a little pocket on the bottom using the rest of my scraps so you can include tags or another photo. All you have to do is stick it in like that. Okay, so let's make some tags. I've already cut out the paper here. For this tag, we're going to make a trifold, just like so. So I'm going to adhere our paper onto the tag. We're going to glue, glue the back on with this paper. I'm going to take this little pocket and I'm going to glue it on the bottom here. I'm only going to glue it on three sides and make sure that it's attached right at the bottom. And by the way, I did use my corner rounder to round the edges of the tag. 
so that it would be flushed with this tag. I'm going to glue this piece here on the bottom. Okay, so let's make the trifold. For the trifold, I measured out a piece that was 8 and 7 eighths by 4 inches, and I scored at 3 and 6. And that's going to go right here in the center. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down on the front. I'm just going to glue this center back part, because you won't see that. Make sure this is right in the center. Now I'm going to glue this first piece down. And for the covers of each of the tags, I did make it slightly smaller. I measured it in at two and three quarters by three and three quarters because I wanted a quarter inch border around. However, the mats on the inside are one eighth smaller. So there's a one eighth inch border all around. So we're going to need to put magnets here to make sure that it closes. So we're going to need magnets here and then magnets here. So I'm just using these basic gray magnets. And I'm going to include two on each side. I'm going to put a magnet right here because these are small. I'm going to use two of them. Now that I have the two magnets down, I'm just going to take off the tape. Then close this panel. And now we have the magnets in the position that we want. So let's finish decorating this. This is how our photo mat layout will be. We're going to start gluing these down now. This right side is 1 8 inch smaller than this side so that the panel can fold in easily. So now we have to glue down this piece. Okay, so let's finish the outside. So I've taken this little chipboard piece and I have this black tool with a gold spiderweb trim on it and then I've just taken some orange and gold twine and wrapped around it. I'm going to put this here. So this is our second tag. And that's the back. Let's work on the third tag. This third tag is going to be a waterfall. So I'm going to glue the pieces down. And then I'll show you how to assemble it. So we have that tag done. We've got a little tag here. And then we have three of these pieces. These measure three and a half by four. And it's scored at the three inch line. And we're going to have a vertical waterfall that starts right here. I'm going to glue this piece right here in the center between the top and bottom. I'm going to overlap this just so that this can fit. So instead of being a half an inch, it's going to be a quarter of an inch. And we're going to glue this at a quarter of an inch as well, so you have just about the same space right side as you do the left side. So we have our waterfall, and then we're going to create a little flap to hold it down, like so. So I'm just going to measure it, I'm just eyeballing it, just to give it enough room and then I'll cut this here. I'm going to round the edges. And now we have a little flap. And I'm going to put a magnet here and on the front cover to hold it down this down. So now we can glue this panel down because we don't need to see this.
Now that we have the vertical waterfall attached to the tag, I'm going to go ahead and put on the photo mats and I'll be right back. While I was off camera, I covered and matted each of the little photo booklets and decorated them. For this first tag, I included a chipboard piece, a little spider, some flowers, and this little sign here that says beware is from the sticker sheet. I used some black tool and this orange and gold ribbon. This is a trifold. It opens like this and like this. So you have lots of areas for photos. On the back of the tag we have this little pocket and then I use the ATC card. I've covered this front and back with my Graphic 45 die. I've included a, another tag here and this is a signature page. I really didn't want to cover it up because the graphics were so pretty. And this is the back. So you can put a large photo back here. You can put one here as well, but I think this is pretty. I just leave it as is. This is the second photo booklet and we have a magnetic closure here. This is a chipboard element from the collection, another little spider, and this is a waterfall. You have a page here for a photo. On this page I've included a little pocket so that you could do some journaling and more areas for photos. And this also closes with the magnet. And here's the tag for this one. We have another signature sheet here. And this is the last tag. I love this color combination of orange, green, and cream. We have this little owl that's popped up on foam tape. More of this tool. We have the little, another little chipboard here. This says beware. We have a pocket and tag back here. This says our scary tale. And this also opens up with the magnetic close. I also decorated the front of the box. This is a large frame. I painted it black and then I have this iridescent glitter uh, paint on top of it. And I've left the frame open so if you want to switch out the paper you can do that easily. This concludes my review of my Graphic 45 book box and tag mini album. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you can receive all of my future videos. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 12 of our 13 days of Halloween craft series. Please don't forget to stop by and visit Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking and Elizabeth Garza from Lived Craft and Love. Bye for now.